Aesop is one of the most renowned ancient Greek storytellers, credited with creating a vast collection of fables that have been told and retold across centuries. While much about his life remains uncertain, here is what is traditionally believed and what scholars have speculated about him, including his potential African origin, traditional background 1, origins and status. O Aesop is traditionally believed to have been a slave. Ancient sources describe him as a freedman, meaning he gained his freedom at some point in his life. O some accounts suggest he was born in Thrace, Phrygia or Samos, regions that were culturally diverse and had connections with Africa through trade and migration. 2. African heritage. O Aesop's depiction as having African features is noted in some ancient sources, including his portrayal in Greek art and literature, which describe him as dark-skinned and possibly of Ethiopian descent. O his name may also reflect Semitic or African linguistic roots, though this is debated. 3. Time period. O Aesop is believed to have lived around the 6th century BCE during the Archaic period of Greece, contemporaneous with other early thinkers and writers. 4. Life events. O according to tradition Aesop was known for his quick wit and intelligence, which enabled him to win his freedom. His ability to tell moral and practical stories made him a popular figure in the courts of kings and aristocrats. O ancient sources like Herodotus and Aristophanes refer to him, but no first-hand accounts of his life exist. 5. Death. O some accounts suggest Aesop met a tragic end. A popular tradition holds that he was executed in Delphi after being accused of theft or blasphemy, though the details are likely legendary. Aesop's Fables 1, Content and Themes O Aesop's fables are short moral stories, often featuring animals with human traits. These stories explore universal themes such as honesty, justice, cleverness, and the consequences of greed and pride. O famous examples include the tortoise and the hare, the boy who cried wolf, the fox and the grapes, and the lion and the mouse. 2. Cultural Impact O the fables were likely transmitted orally before being written down by later authors like Phaedrus, Babrius and later European compilers. O they became a cornerstone of moral education in many cultures, influencing literature, art and popular culture. 3. Universal Appeal O Aesop's fables transcend cultural boundaries because of their simplicity and timeless lessons. They resonate with people from different backgrounds and continue to be widely read and adapted. Debate on Aesop's African origin 1. Artistic representations. O in some ancient depictions Aesop is shown with distinctly African features, leading to speculation that he may have had Ethiopian or North African ancestry. O these representations, coupled with his portrayal as a slave, suggest he may have been part of the African diaspora in the Mediterranean world. 2. Scholarly disputes. O oh, some scholars argue that the emphasis on Aesop's African origin may stem from a later tradition that sought to elevate his legacy in a multicultural context. Though others maintain that the evidence aligns with the historical presence of Africans in Greece and the broader Mediterranean during his time. Legacy 1. Influence on storytelling. O oh, Aesop's fables laid the groundwork for the fable as a literary genre, influencing writers like La Fontaine in France and countless others around the world. O oh, the moral lessons of his fables remain relevant, offering insights into human behavior and ethical decision-making. 2. Symbol of wisdom and resilience. O oh, as a figure traditionally believed to have risen from slavery to become a celebrated storyteller, Aesop symbolizes resilience, wit, and the power of intellect over adversity. 3. Cross-cultural significance. O Aesop's stories are celebrated in diverse cultures and have been translated into numerous languages. They serve as a bridge between ancient and modern storytelling traditions. While much about Aesop remains cloaked in myth, his legacy as a storyteller endures. And his fables continue to teach valuable lessons about morality, human nature, and the world. Please share, like, and subscribe Oran Z.